It's a stack of cash, so just walk on through security. Then come meet me when I fast travel down. You are 
don't find better merchandise anywhere else. I've made sure of that. A pleasure as always. I'm sure we'll be doing this again soon enough. Hello, Concordian. I urge you to remain calm. The battle raging above us is no cause for alarm. The laser striking the moon's surface is merely speculating for deposits. For your own safety, Concordian will remain locked down for the next several weeks. Already? That is all. Screw this. Let's go pay him a visit. Like I said, don't get trigger happy. If he's got info, I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. Is horrible diction to start with. The elevator is still barred. That's just great. I do have a recording of the Marif talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. What about the Marif recording? Could use that to blackmail him. <laughs> Yahtzee, let's go find ourselves one soon to be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. <laughs> a complaint? Your awesome Marif's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be logged. Long live the Marif. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey. You really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, Relief. You know that's not what geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I'm your merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. I'd make it worth your while. I'm swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the merit's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the Marif doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable! Awesome! Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy at this difficult time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. What a douche. This guy's so busted. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell. Come on, elevator, let's go! Serena, I'm coming, my love! This is more like it. And here we go! To the marrow! Seriously? You idiot machine? The offices are off! Right! I'm such a kidder! Up we go! Warning, trespassing on government property will result in your immediate death. Thank you. Matt, he's not going to stop us, Huckster! No, no tools today, sorry. Please exit through the gift shop. Right. Come 
Said you're a daddy. Did it sense I I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. <laughs> What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. I was gonna let you live, dumb bastard. What is wrong with you? Oh, that was. Invigorating. Okay, yeah. Where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby, hell yeah. Shopping list, simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser is gonna kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Will? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, I didn't like him. You don't like anybody. I like Brick. Booyah!
That laser's annoying me. got all my stuff back here. Welcome to my store, Springs Emporium O Stuff. There was an F, but that fell off. Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big saws, but your best bets are... mate of mine, a little ankle biter by the name of Pickle, lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mind, but I can help with that. Take this scrambler. G'day! My grinder, Bessie, finally died and I need to scrounge up... ...couple of spare parts. Grinder parts don't grow on trees, but luckily I've got wind of two scab grinders you can, uh, investigate. Don't worry, they're both stolen, so it's not like you'll be robbing honest folk. The first one's on the back of a buggy. I'm sending the coordinates to your Echo. Let's go shopping! Grinders are brill machines. Based on some dull tech that came my way a while back, they take random pieces of tech you don't want and recombine them into useful gear. Weapons, shields, whatever floats your boat. Rip a little earners too. to Pickle's place on foot, but I can help you out with, ready for it? A stingray. It's old Dahl tech. They're not much to look at, but Moxie tinkered with the designs and now they jump like a skag in heat. Problem is, stingrays aren't easy to get to meat hunts on. So happens that Scrambler, uh, came my way. It's supposed to unlock digestructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a stingray there, I'll fix it so all moon zoomies are stingrayed up. It's run by some feral scavs called the Boosters. 
If you like, you could go over there, explain I need some spare parts, they'll be all... Oh, sure thing, help yourself, mate. Ha! Right. I'm updating your Echo now. Go kill those crook sons of taints.
pickle. Remember when I told you that? Honest question. I've already forgotten. I do a lot of moon dust. Head to that dull place I told you about to rustle one up. Shopping around for spare grinder parts. Well, get your own. This one's totes taken. Swan, dark contractor for keep it spotless cleaners. If mum could see me now. Still, the cash is short. Emily's sicker than ever and the universe isn't overflowing with free medical care. Still, picking up after Dahl's fittest and finest lets me sniff out some juicy nuggets at Camp Gossip. Beats reading a book. Someone's out there though. I can feel eyes on me. Have I got a stalker?
pieces.
He must have chickened out. Smash that thing to pieces and get the recombiner matrix out of it. Luckily, they're tough bits of tech, too.
soul, assuming you have one.
so long, Merrif. Oh, hi, stranger. Follow me. See old Bessie over there? Slot the unassembler linkage and the recombiner matrix into her. Let's see if that does the trick. Yes! Looks like she's back from the dead, but we need to make sure. These babies can, if you're lucky, spit out nice shiny equipment, but you have to know what to put in them first. Kind of like a recipe. Put in any three weapons of the same quality and you might get back a weapon of a higher quality. Sweet, eh? I've got some old ones on the table over there. Use them. Trying to impress with that huge laser. High quality, low prices, and no questions asked. She spits out. Huh. 
Might be a waste of good weaponry. Something to grind here, soldier. Feed three items, soldier. These babies come with a lot of recipes, but unfortunately there's no instruction manual. You'll just have to experiment. Though I do remember someone telling me using moonstones will ensure you always get the best possible items out of them. Well, good luck and thanks for the help. Thank you.